you tried to cheat on me with Jamie, but it backfired and now I'm cheating on you with Jamie. So now you look stupid. Period. Right now. You are now tuned in. Pin Grisby. I'm still going in. Who? that i had attention all day charlie happens to be in there when i see him the first thing that pops up in my head it was like oh revenge he starts to be friendly so i start to be friendly and i do what any other gay person would do at that time and i added him on facebook once i had him on facebook we definitely start having conversations back and forth and me and him literally was texting day after day after day after day our main conversations was mainly about Andrea, and I was just telling him, why do you date her? Why do you want to be with her? She's ugly. She's irrelevant. You should be with somebody else. Bad bitch like me. Like, leave her. She's nothing, blah. But he was just like, you know, I like her, and she's a real cool person, blah, 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 blah. So a situation happened that actually had nothing to do with me for the first time ever, and um, this was shocking because I pro I'm damn near involved in everything. So Andrea and Andrea dated Aaliyah and Charlie. Aaliyah and Charlie rode the same bus home. Bitch, they fought. They fought on the bus. Andrea, two exes, fought on the bus. Now, a lot of people were stating that Charlie wasn't really hitting her back considering the fact that she was a girl. But I just find it hilarious how not only am I taking all your people from you, but you can't even control the people that you do have. It is honestly hilarious. It is honestly funny. And yeah i don't give a damn so let's just do a little recap because i know that there's a lot of names involved so again i was dating marvin um marvin best friend was andrea andrea was dating deandre deandre is best friends with nate nate x is Aaliyah. Aaliyah then start dating andrea nate and deandre are best friends their two exes are Aaliyah and andrea so the best friends exes start dating each other and i don't probably mess with them and all of them Andrea starts dating Charlie. I start talking to Charlie. Andrea exes Aaliyah and Charlie get in a fight. This is getting messy. Now, if y'all thought that was messy, y'all don't even know the half because it gets even messier. So later as sophomore year starts to progress in the midst of all the drama, me and Marvin decided to get back together. So now that we are back together, rumors start to spread that he's talking to this boy named Jamie. Now Jamie was on a football team. Jamie was supposed to be not gay. Um, so when the rumors started to spread around, I was like, hmm. Now one thing I knew about Marvin was he was a liar. He lied a lot. He lied about stupid shit. Stuff that didn't even matter, he lied about it. So, um, I really, I really thought that probably Jamie wasn't going to be gay. It was just Marvin being a liar. And God always works in my favor because somehow out of nowhere, Jamie gets his whole schedule changed and he gets took out the class that he had with Marvin and he gets put into my class. When Jamie moves in my fourth period English class, Marvin is literally pissed. He is so angry. He is so upset. And the main reason why he's probably upset because for one, he knows that Jamie is probably suspect, but the fact that he is in class with me and not him, there's no possibility of Marvin and Jamie being a thing because now I'm gonna snatch that. And that's exactly what I did. Now that Jamie's in my class, me and him are being cordial, we're being cool, we're chit chatting, da 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 da. And things go from one thing to another, and I get his kick. Now, also, if you was in my age group back then, you knew kick was lit. Now, I know some people I think still use kick. I really don't know who uses kick. If you do, you're lame, period. And if you feel the type of way, uh, but yeah, so I had his kick, me and him was kicking, me and him was chit-chatting, me and him was chit-chatting for a little minute. Now, when I tell you I was talking to Jamie for a hot little minute, I was talking to Jamie for a hot little minute. And, you know, it was kind of messy because I was still dating Marvin and he liked it, Jamie, but I felt like I wasn't wrong. You tried to cheat on me with Jamie, but it backfired and now I'm cheating on you with Jamie. So now you look stupid, period. Hmm. So after that situation, um, uh, Jamie now has a girlfriend. His girlfriend name is Diamond. So he dates his girl named Diamond. Now, I didn't really care for Diamond, nor did I care for their relationship, but that was his girlfriend. Not only was that his girlfriend, but she was a senior and we were sophomores. So it was a little weird that they were dating. So I didn't really know her like that because she was a senior. I mean, we had no classes together. We never interacted. We didn't run in the same circles. Only thing we had in common that we both was talking to Jamie. Only thing about it, people knew you was talking to Jamie and no one knew I was talking to Jamie. So Diamond had a sister that was in our um, our grade, which was uh, Sheree. Sheree and me was like this. Sheree was one of my good, good, good Judys. I, if I had a top 10 of people that I was close to during my summer year, 
Sheree would definitely be in that top 10. She would probably be in the top five. Like me and Sheree was really, really close. Now I was kind of messed up that I was talking to her sister's boyfriend, but I just felt like it was not my place to say like, technically I'm Sheree's friend. So I don't own a loyalty to Diamond because just her sister, they had nothing to do with me. So it even got messier because then out of the blue, Nick started dating Sheree. Now, if you don't know who Nick was, Nick was the guy that was on Uvu that pulled down his penis right here and showed me. Nick is also Aaliyah's ex. Nick is also DeAndre's best friend. DeAndre is also Andrea's ex, which is Andrea is Marvin's best friend, and I was thinking Marvin. You see where this is going? So now that Sheree or Sheree and Nick are talking, they're trying to form a relationship. And at this point, I'm just like, bro, you know exactly what happened at night. And now you're going to try to talk to one of my friends. Like, I'm not going to go out and tell your business to the world. But you can at least not talk to my friends. Like, you know this is my friend. Like, this is one of the people that I'm with every day. So there's no way you don't know that I'm friends with her. You know. So I'm like, you need to not talk to her. I'm, I'm going to have to tell her. I was like, now if she decides to be with you after that, that's fine. But you need to do something. So there's so much going on at this point uh, with Nick and Sheree and Diamond and uh, fucking Jamie. DeAndre's still in the background. Going back and forth between him and Marvin. I'm still beefing, beefing with Andrea. It's just a lot going on. And at this point, I was drained. I was tired of drama. I was tired of bullshit. I was tired of love circles. I was tired of back and forth. I was tired of cheating. I was just over it. And I wanted everything to be out and open. Sheree was one of my good, good friends. And I wanted, if I wasn't going to be honest with nobody else, I at least wanted to be honest with her. So the day that I decided to tell her, I walk into school and I prepare myself. And as I walk in, I see Nick, Charlie, and Jamie all standing next to each other. All of them. These mother were not friends. They were like a group, like the three amigos. Like they were a clique. And I'm just like, bruh, not only is this embarrassing, but like, I feel like this is some messy shit going on. Like this is, this is crazy. So I decided to tell Sheree everything that I know about everything and then the school literally goes insane so the school goes the same because everybody found out about jamie everybody found out about charlie everybody found out about nick like everything is out in the open now and the only reason it was out and open because i told one person but that person told a person and that person told a person and that person told a person and and they got around the school all around the school so i get on the bus i goes home and i literally walk in my living room and my mom's like Pack your bags. We will be back to Palm Coast. Today was your last day at Wilson. That's it, bitch. That's how I'm ending the story. Period. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. This was my first ever video, and it was extremely nerve-wracking. I'm so excited I finally did it. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Um, Just to get some background on everyone that was in the story time, I guess I can run. I guess I can do it real fast. Um, I no longer talked to Marvin. Um, Last time I checked, he was sleeping on couches. Um, I no longer talked to Andrea, but me and her are cool. Um, cordial, I should say. Like, if I was here in person, me and her speak. Um... I'm cool with DeAndre. Um, me and him was actually really cool. He started working at my job that I was working at, and me and him became cool. And we was real cool, and then he left, and he, me and him was still cool. Then he started dating this boy, and when he started dating this boy, I come under the picture with her eyes, and then he blocked me. Um, who else? Charlie. I haven't seen Charlie. I haven't seen Nick. Um, I saw Aaliyah. Me and her actually work at the same place, but it's, it's a big building, so I never see her ass. Um, who else is in the story time? I haven't seen Cherie. I don't know where she's doing. Um, don't want, don't know what Diamond's doing. So yeah, pretty much I don't talk to none of them. But I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I need everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I think my next video is going to be a um, get to know me, probably a question and answer. So if you guys have any questions for me, just comment them below. Also make sure you follow all my social medias at Turk for my boy. That's T R E R. Wait, damn, I don't know how to spell T W R. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how to spell T-W-E-R-K-F-O-R-B-A-L-B-O-A. -B -B Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you later, bitches. <laughs>